It's day three of the Swimming Chronicles. Homestead Boy 1 has one event left. Can he make the finals? Only time will tell. Homestead Boy 2 is on his way with us. He wanted to cheer on his brother because he loves him so very much. So we're home, um, after the swim meet we went to church and then to lunch, and now we're home trying to get some things done. I'm looking for some hinges so I can put that door on the duck coop so we can get the ducks moved. Um, I think I know where they are, but I'm not 100% sure. My dad would probably tell you it would be a miracle if I could find anything in here. But I typically, even though it's a total disaster and mess, I won't argue with that, um, I typically know about where things are. So with a minute or two of looking, I can find them. I'm gonna look for that. Um, then they have swim practice for their other team. And then I'm gonna try to get some more stuff done around outside the house. So I'll show you guys in a bit. Victory. I purchased these at Meyer when they were on clearance. $1.99, I wish I'd bought more of them. Um, Cause you can always, never you can never have too many hinges when you're building stuff. So I'm gonna see if these will work. So these are longer and probably more heavy duty than I need for the um, this door. But I think I can make them work. What I'm gonna do is I'll just put this here. I'll be able to get three of the screws screwed into the two by four. And then I'll use four of the screws into this door like that. I think that'll work. So the duck coop is done for now. Um, I got the door on it. I put a handle on it. I'm going to say I designed it this way, but know that I'm lying when I say that, or stretching the truth anyway. So the door sags just a little bit. It was just me hanging it, so um, even with shims, I had a hard time keeping it at the right level. But the good news about it sagging is that when it's lifted up and put there, it stays shut. So like the ducks won't be able to push it out if we want to keep them in there. I'm not sure we're going to want to keep them in there, so that it'll be fine. But when I open it, I put a block here. And that can just rotate down like that and then the wind can't blow the door shut so they can't get back in so That's how I'm rolling with it for now um, The boys homestead boy one and two and homestead girl one are at swim practice um, I may wait until 77 crossbar ranch can come over here and um, And help me move this into there, but hopefully soon so that we can get the ducks in there um, if the boys and I can do it, we'll try to do it this evening, but for now it's ready to go um, All I need to do is put like an eye bolt in here so we can hang a water and a feeder and we should be good to go You guys may have seen my video on making a pig waterer um, Before and what I'd done is I had a um, 55 gallon drum that had the top cut off And I put a hole in the bottom of it with a uh, and I tried screwing just so you can buy these pig nipples, and I tried just screwing it in to the side, cutting a hole, screwing it in the side. And it worked for a little bit, but it wasn't as steady as I wanted it because the plastic kind of flexes and moves and it gets loose and then it leaks and makes a mess. So what you can do is you can buy a bulkhead like this. And what you do is you put a hole in the side and then this washer right here, let me see if I can move it. This washer right here compresses this grommet right here down so you have a hole and then this is threaded i don't know if you guys can see that it's threaded so that the pig nipple threads right into it and you've got a good firm connection now i'm trying to figure out a way to make a hog water without having to cut off the top and the problem is going to be i need to get the washer in and on so that I can thread this on there. And I don't know if I have anything that'll reach down in there and hold it tight enough so I can spin it. So I gotta figure that out. While I'm thinking about how I'm going to possibly not cut a hole out of the top, 
I'm gonna have to put a hole in this anyway. So I have a one and a quarter inch hole saw, um, and I'm gonna put it about here, about four or five inches up from the bottom. That'll maintain so that if there's any sediment or silt in the bottom, it won't try to get sucked through in through the nipple and, and make a mess out of things. Um, the hole saw just needs to be big enough for the bulkhead to go through, but small enough for the fascia part to not go through as well. So, here we go. Now I gotta get the drill bit out. So what I'll do is I'll just clean off, I'll grab like a knife and clean off these plastic shavings. Uh, when I rinse it out again, I'll dump everything out, including that drill bit. And uh, then I can figure out if I can get that bulkhead on without having to cut off the top. So I have the hole in here. The problem is going to be, there's a chance I could get this washer started, but this grommet is so tight on here. Like maybe if I had one of those extend to reach gripper things and I could grab onto the end of this and fish it down in there, there's a chance I might be able to get it started enough like that and then be able to do the same thing with this just to get it started. But I can't find one of those right now. I don't wanna get this done because the, um, the hog water, those tough stuff, um, watering dishes and stuff are not that tough and they're leaking. The only thing that isn't leaking is the cement mixing trays that I've gotten from Home Depot and stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole in the top of the barrel but I'm gonna leave this ridge on here. So what I can do is I'll put a hole long enough for me to reach my arm down in and start this. But because the lip is on here, sorry, you guys probably wanna see my beautiful face. Because the lip is on here, I can put like a piece of screen or something over this. So it'll still make it really easy to water, like to fill up, but um, that way, like if I put a screen over it, mosquitoes can't get in to lay eggs. And if somehow they get in to lay eggs when they hatch, they won't be able to fly out. So that's what I'm gonna do because I wanna get this done quick. So this is the piece I cut out. Hopefully it's big enough for me to get my arm in. If you ever wondered how thick this stuff is, it's pretty thick. I mean, you can definitely try just screwing the hog nipple into this. Uh, I just didn't have good luck with it. I think the top might be slightly thicker or, or more rigid than the sides. Let me show you. So there's my hole. You guys see that? So hopefully now I should be able to reach down in here like this and get that going. That's the plan, here we go. Done. As a note, if you're filling up troughs and you leave the hose on, make sure you don't forget about it while you're doing other things. I went to go set up some cinder blocks to put that new water on. When that happened, I don't know if you guys can see that. The chicken seemed to be enjoying the extra water, but oops. Um, I mean, if we were in a drought, that would be a big bummer. But like I said, the chickens are enjoying it. Filling up the other trough now, as soon as that's done, I'm gonna take the hose over to the pigs and fill up their new water. So I've set this on cinder block and I'm filling it up. Hopefully that hose doesn't come out. They'll be happier. See the pigs running around, see the piglets? They're having fun. I don't know if they're too big to walk through the fence there or if they just choose not to. Um, but the piglets look like they're doing well. This will help out immensely 
because right now we've been trying to fill up this for water and pigs are really strong so as soon as they're done drinking from it they start playing with it and they flip it up and then there's no more water for them to drink you can see that little one right there is just trashed that big one right there has a hole in it so that's as much water as it'll hold so this will make life so much easier I'll be able to put 55 gallons of water in here and that will last them I don't know how long it'll be a long time I'll fill up well before that you can see the other water right there for the sows this is kind of my least favorite time of the year with regards to animals because we've got six grow up pens seven if you include the ducks um, so there's six extra food feeders and waterers to fill now most of the time the kids get it but they don't always get every one so I have to check them it's just a pain once all of the chickens are in and they're one big flock it'll be so much easier because there's one feeder one water or two feeders and two waters but they're in one place and then they're done it's easy um, I think there's a real possibility that this fall we get rid of all of the sheep um, and don't keep them and just we keep, and, and I'll be butchering bullseye so all we would have left is the chickens ducks pigs and prudence and then shill calf I think is due in December so that should simplify things a little bit there we go 55 gallons of clean water I'm gonna go fill up the sow's water while I'm here I was about to come out and cut grass but we are about to get just destroyed with rain I think it should only last about 15 minutes but there is no green it is all yellow and red so I'm gonna put the uh, shop back away make sure there's nothing else out that shouldn't be and uh, get back in the house well it's about a half an hour later and hear that it's all the water um, we got dumped on for about a half an hour straight so everything's been watered which is good it hadn't rained in a while um, I guess it rained once but anyway I'm going out to milk the cow I hope you guys had a wonderful day I truly appreciate all of you if you haven't already please consider um, clicking that subscribe button share it on Facebook if you like one of the videos that really helped me out and I would greatly greatly appreciate that um, and hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow